Hey guys, it's Clear88 here, and I have a video showing you how to get the small gold crown for Nergigante in Monster Hunter World. So first up, we'll show you the exact type of investigation that led me to get this small uh, guy. It's basically a one gold, two silver. It was a max of two players, had three feints, and we had the full time limit of 50 minutes. So I think in my experience of hunting these gold crowns, you really need to have gold rewards in it for it to be anything. But this is the small guy here, and as in my large Negagante video, I showed you here how to use the ghillie mat and stand on this grey X here. This is where we're going to be able to size him up now. There's not too many d things in the background that we can highlight here to show how small he is here. So I just slowed down the footage a little bit so that you could kind of exactly see how small he is. And he's pretty small here compared to the other Nicogantes that I have come across. But I actually, I only th I f thought that I came across this small guy quite a lot. And the truth is that you're that's going to happen to you. You're going to encounter... Uh, I'm going to have comments in this video basically saying to me, Oh Claire, I've fought this guy exactly in the same size and it didn't get the small crown. Well, that's because in my experience of doing it, the size only matters to a certain point. He could be the exact same size to like a leg measurement or a wing measurement, but then his tail will be bigger or smaller or his head will be bigger or smaller or some other dimension of him will be bigger or smaller. So although you could see this guy or the large guy the exact same as my videos, I think that there's another body part of him that must be smaller or bigger, which means that you're not getting the crown for it. So if you're uh, leaving a comment saying that you fought someone exactly this size, he probably is exactly this size, but maybe his horn is a little bit smaller here or his tail is that little bit smaller here. And that's exactly what you have to look out for. Now, what you really, really need to do is to do is every single small guy that you come across of this similar small guy, just don't take the risk. You have to kill him. Because like I said, I am 100% sure I fought small guys exactly the same size as this guy. And I did not get any uh, crown. I did get, didn't get any updates. It didn't tell me how big or small he was. Um, and this was just in an off time. So I thought, just thought that this, oh, okay, this guy looks small. He's worth the kill. I got, I got in my friend who I've been doing it with, Shingo. And we both killed him here at the very end, as you can see here now. And we, we were pretty confident we were hopeful uh we had went through hours and hours of getting no crowns out of these elder dragons so at this point it was pretty desperate and we were despairing quite a lot so but i wasn't pumped here like i said i just i had felt that i had fought this small guy five or six times before and i just but this was the one time it actually did work out here as we can see here when we actually skipped to the the crown at the very end of it after of course you can use this time here to kind of do another little measurement at the very end if you want to see if he's big or not so you can like stand beside his face and you can tell by the horns and the size of it here but this is only something you're going to be able to learn after it's not something you can size up at the very very start of it unfortunately sometimes you're still able to kind of tell in this phase whether you got a small one or not so like i said in my experience it really is about like getting a small one this size and you have to kill it regardless you have to just hope that it comes up with the smallest gold crown like it just did right there i've fought plenty of guys exactly the same size as this but this one gave me the small crown i do not know why my theory going on the crowns that i've gotten from the elder dragon so far is that they are of that exact same size but like their wing their tail their head something is at that little bit bigger that's stopping it if you understand so if you're the person who weighs it up against the ball joints of the legs or the wings or something like that just be aware that you know you can size it up completely right and then you still might not get the crown and i believe that's because it's it's measured different body parts and everything i do have other videos coming i have uh, val hazak and i have a large negagante video that's out there at the moment i'm currently trying to grind for the rest of the elder dragons but rest assured once i do get the footage of me marking them up they will all be uploaded to youtube so please give me a like a subscribe and a follow if you like the content that is shown here and i really hope i can get all the elder dragon videos for you guys to try suss it out because honestly there's no good videos out there at the moment and nobody really explaining exactly how it goes so i really want to kind of jump on this and kind of be the first so hopefully this measurement has helped you get that gold crown check out the large crown and the other crown videos that i have and i'll see you in my next video take care